and white trim. Final uh, game before the Thanksgiving break for the Herons is the first of a four-game homestand here at Bristol Gym. They will take on Keith College here a week from tonight after the Thanksgiving break. That'll be a 7 o'clock game. Then they'll take on RPI on Friday, December the 2nd, followed by Vassar the following Saturday afternoon, December the 3rd. And then the final game before the holiday break will be a trip to Berea, Ohio on December 14th when they take on Baldwin-Wallace University. Uh, we'll have coverage of the Kiuka RPI and Vassar games on 105.7 FM WHWS. Welcome to our 105.7 WHWS listeners. And welcome to those of you watching from wherever you may be on the live stream. Again, an early happy Thanksgiving to all of you. The U of R starters being introduced right now. And now the introduction of the Hobart starters. Hobart, of course, uh, headed by head coach Stephen Thompson, assisted by Ben Horowitz and Dennis Pysnack. And over on the other side, that is uh, Luke Flakertsey in his 13th season at U of R with an all-time coaching record of 197 and 97. Uh, 16th season overall head coaching for him. His overall record, 227 and 143. Assistant coaches for U of R are Chris Manning and Aaron Toomey. Volunteer assistant coach Jacob Scott. Student assistant is Rowan Nimela. So the final couple of starters being introduced here. Aiden Rogers will be the final starter introduced for the Statesman. And we are just about ready to take the court to start off this contest. Again, U of R coming in undefeated 5-0, and ranked number 11 in the uh, D3 college preseason poll, taking on the Herons coming in, or excuse me, the Statesman coming in with a record of 3-2. and two. And Both teams huddling up at their respective benches, and the starters making their way now out onto the floor. 20 minutes on the clock here for the start of the first half of play in the second game of tonight's Hobart William Smith double header. All right, so it will be, uh, it looks like for U of R, it'll be Alger who will uh, take the opening tip as the players exchange uh, fist bumps here before action gets underway. And Jackson uh, Mishanek will be taking the opening tip here for the Statesman. So about ready to begin. Ball in the air, tipped, and the Her or excuse me, the Statesman will get possession to open up the first half. Alger, or Rogers, getting ready to work his way toward the front court here. Quickly throwing up an off-balance shot that does not fall. That was uh, number uh, 23, Connor Mechanic. And Mechanic fouled on the way to the basket, so that means he will be up on the foul line here with just uh, about 11 seconds gone here in the first half. First shot is rolled off the rim and no good. Second shot forthcoming. And second shot will drain. So the first points of the game go to Carter Mechanic and the States went up one nothing here on the Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets bring it to the front court, Messino on the crossover, drops it on the near side to Kirshner. Kirshner fading back to Alger. Shot clock down to 15. They try to do a feed onto the inside to Alger. Alger dropping it off, shot clock down to eight. Alger gets it back, trying to back his way into the paint against uh, Nishanik, and that one will not count. Shot goes up, but he was fouled on the way to the basket, so Jackson Mishanek will get called for the foul. And it will be an inbound here for U of R. Over the top, Alger, quick dump off here to Gang. And it comes back out onto the point to Messino. Messino driving it back off for Alger. Alger drops it for Gang. Gang with a three ball with a shot clock at seven. No good, rebounded by Walker. Brought up quickly into the front court by Rogers for the Statesman. He'll pass over to Jackson. And they'll work their way around and now trying to drive the lane here for the bucket and getting his own put back, Carter Mechanic. And that'll make the score 3-0 in favor of Hobart here with 18.45 to play in the first half. 
Little drop pass for Aldridge, trying to back his way into the lane against Jackson. Gets the move and the finger roll for two. And U of R on the board, and it's 3-2. Rogers bringing it back up for the Statesman in front of the U of R bench. He'll drop it off to Carter. Nice feed on the inside. Lynch breaking into the paint for an easy two. And the Statesman up 5-2. Back the other way. Messino pushes it inside. Easy bucket for Alger for the two. And it's now 5-4. Rogers bringing it back into the front court here for the Statesman. Man-to-man D here from U of R. Trying to break that pressure and get inside. Carter could not do anything. Passes to Jackson. Jackson now drives the paint. Turnaround jumper from about three feet out is good. Hobart up by a score of 7-4. 17-45 to play first half. Messina put the brakes on. Three ball from the outside from Matt Wheeler is no good. Rogers brings it back up here for the Statesman. Back to Jackson. Top of the key. Jackson thinks about dribbling into the paint. Stops at the corner. Passes to Rogers. Rogers threads through a double team, puts up the shot, and he's going to get called for a charge. So Rogers drawing the, unfortunately, drawing the charge, and will get charged for the offensive foul. Statesman up by three, seven, four, 17 20 left to play here so far in the first half. So still in the early going. Alger with the ball now. Just dribbling into the edge now. Driving the paint is number 21, Mitchell Kirshner. Kirshner gets a nice finger roll for two, and it is 7-6 in favor of the Statesman. Coming back the other way. Lynch with it now. Passing over on the far side. Walker trying to drive the lane, gets shut off. Ball tipped away, gets it back. Shot clock at six, long three ball from Mechanic does not fall, goes off the rim and no good, comes back the other way with Messino. And Alger in the paint, can't get that one to fall. Point blank range and it just rolled off the front of the rim, no good. So the score remains 7-6. Rogers almost gets his pocket picked by Messino. And now driving the baseline and making a nice bucket. Another one for Jackson Mechanic. And with 16-10 left to play in the first half, Hobart has a three-point lead by a score of 9-6. Turnover here by U of R. Hobart gets the ball back. Rogers between the legs dribble. Fades over to Walker. Walker now, three ball from Walker from beyond the arc. Off the rim, no good. Nobody home for the rebound. Kirshner will scoop it up for U of R. Goes back the other way. Ball being brought up into play here by Kirshner. Kirshner now tried to get the hot feet on a uh, give and go from Wheela, and the ball went over his head, out of bounds. So that'll be an inbound here for the Statesman. 15-34 left to play here in the first half, and they are up by three, nine to six. So Hunter Mechanic will go ahead and inbound. David Corrales-Marco in the game now for the first time for the Statesman. And he will grab the inbound. Messino dropping back to defend. As Marco brings it across the timeline, Jackson Mechanic again drives the paint, spin move, spin again, and gets a nice drop. So Mechanic, Jackson Mechanic, lighten it up here in the early going, and the States went up by six by a score of 11 to five. Three ball here off the back of the rim, no good for Messino. That'll be rebounded by Carter Mechanic. He'll pass off to the far side to Marco. Marco working in front of the bench. Passing the ball around. Back to Jackson. Jackson again drives the paint. Lucky he didn't get called for the walk. Carter with the putback on the rebound for two. Statesman up by a score of 13-6 on a little bit of a run here in this first half. Dan Jagodinski in the game now, handling the ball for the University of Rochester. Jagodzinski passing off to Price. And now Messino. Back to Price, three ball from Price is good. 
And that breaks Hobart's run, and the score is now 13 to 9 with 14, 15, and counting to play here in the first half. Hobart shooting 62% so far in this game from the field. So coming out of the blocks very strong here against this stout undefeated University of Rochester team. Feet over into the corner, and Lynch was left all alone. Three ball off the side of the rim, no good. U of R hustles it back up into the front court. Price on the dribble. Tries to feed that into C.J. Amselem, and Amselem loses the handle, but it was poked out by Carter Mechanic. So it'll be an inbound for U of R under the Hobart basket. U of R shooting 50% right now, 25% from three-point land. Herons haven't landed a three-pointer, but 54.5% from the field here in the early going, hence the four-point lead, 13-9. Messino grabbing the ball on the inbound. Almost gets his pocket pick, tries to drive the baseline, spin move. Guarded there by Lynch. Now shot put up with the shot clock at four by Price is good. U of R draws to within two. It's 13-11. Carter Mechanic on the pass from Marco. Little give and go here. Out to the outside to Lynch. Lynch pulls it back up top. Marco back to Lynch. Lynch fakes a three. Hot pass over the top. Just out of reach of Hunter Mechanic, and that'll go out of bounds. That'll be a Hobart turnover. So the ball inbounded. Marco playing back here on defense. Now will hustle his way up into the front court as Price brings the ball in. Dropping it in for Jagosinski. Then back out to Anselm. And Messino, who has been all over the court handling the ball here, almost double teamed. Shot clock down to nine. Anselm puts up a short floater, doesn't go. And Evan Goldberg in the game now for the Herons draws the rebound. Marco brings it back into the front court, out to Carter. Carter drives the lane, stops, fades back to Marco, and then they'll drive it, drop it for Hunter Mechanic, and Hunter Mechanic, nice finger roll over top of the defender, and it's 15-11. Hobart back up by four with 12.25 left to play in the first half. Messino almost gets his pocket picked there by Goldberg. Long three ball does it go. And Carter able to snag the rebound. Marco bringing it up in front of the U of R bench on the far sideline. Now back to Lynch in the middle. Hunter over the top to Goldberg, and Goldberg will uh, draw the foul as Messino tried to sell the charge but instead gets called for the block, and that will put Evan Goldberg on the line to shoot two, both teams with two team fouls each right now. And we have 12.01 to play. Hobart up by four by a score of 15 to 11. First shot for Goldberg. Swish. Gap opens up to five. Another substitution for the Statesman, Isaiah Washington, coming into the game. And Carter Mechanic will get a little bit of a breather here. So Goldberg. Six foot ten player, second shot does not go. U of R gets the rebound. Jagosinski got that one. Passes off to the far side to Messino. And now in the game, Ross Gang back in as he'll get a touch. Trying to feed it to Amsalem. And Amsalem gets his pocket picked. Goldberg says the ball should go the other way, but the officials say it will be U of R basketball. And Goldberg, a little uh, nifty pickpocket, knocked that ball away. So Gang. We'll drop it up over the top for Jagosinski. Back over to Price at the top of the key. Price holding. Goldberg coming out. Anselm from beyond the arc. Price from beyond the arc. Shot clock at five. Price throws the three ball off the front of the rim. Goldberg scoops up the rebound. Marco brings it forward now. 11 and a half minutes left to play. Washington drives the lane, draws a couple of defenders, and no foul. Ball goes out of bounds, and it'll be Hobart basketball. Washington disappeared there, and timeout called on the floor with 11.26 left to play here in the first half. Heron, or excuse me, Statesman coming out strong. They lead the U of R by a score of 16 to 11. And we'll step aside for 30 seconds. You're listening to Hobart Basketball on 105.7 WHWS.
So coming out of the timeout, 11-26, left to play here in the first half, almost halfway through, a very quick first half here. Statesman up over the Yellow Jackets of U of R. Score right now is 16-11. to Goldberg gets the inbound for the Statesman over the top to Marco. Marco about five feet up in front of the half-court line now. Sideways dribble, Washington bounce pass to Goldberg. Goldberg turns the corner, loses the basketball, and it goes off the foot of Jagosinski. So the Statesman will get the break here on the inbound. And Ryan Alger will check back into the game here for the U of R. Lynch back in the game as well. Lynch looking for the inbound. Bounce pass to Goldberg. Nice feed there to Goldberg. Goldberg bouncing it out to Marco. Back to Goldberg. A little quick give and go. And they get Walsh open or, walk, or Lynch open for a three ball. But it does not go. Price will bring it back up here into the front court quickly for the Yellow Jackets. Bounce pass dropped off to Jagodinski. And then back up top. Price with a drop to uh, Matt uh, Niemzgura in the game now. Uh, Nemzura getting the ball off a of baseline feet for three. And count that one. Nice feet from the baseline out to the open man there. And U of R draws to within two. It is 16-14 with 10.30 left to play here in the first half. Now Marco dribbling all the way around under the baseline. And then pops it back to Washington. But we're going to get a whistle foul called away from the basketball. And it's going to go the other way. That'll be a U of R possession on the inbound. 10-23 left to play. A couple of more substitutions. Here comes Pat Healy into the game now for the Statesman. Rogers back in as well. And Hunter Mechanic still on the floor along with Washington. So U of R will bring it across half court. Gang. Drop to Alger. Alger can't do anything with it, so he'll pass off to Wheela. And now trying to turn the corner and pop one up is Gang. Tries to get around Washington, and it looks like he's going to draw the foul. So one foul right now on Jackson Mechanic. Washington with his first foul. Rogers with a foul. And over on the other side, Alger has one foul. So Ross Gang. Makes his first foul shot, draws U of R to within one. 16-15, 10 5 left to play here in the first half. Gang getting ready for the second trip here to the stripe. Couple of dribbles, shoots, in and out, no good. Washington grabs the rebound, hands back to Rogers. Rogers defended by Price coming across half court, switches the dribble left-hand side and passes to Washington near side. From Washington to Healy. Healy looking. Nobody home on the inside. Washington cutting back across the paint. Comes out to the perimeter. Now he looks to get the ball inside. Shallow pass into Jackson Mechanic. And then Mechanic to Washington. Washington with a pretty feet underneath the basket. And a nice hesitation there from Hunter Mechanic to finish off the play for the bucket. And Hobart is back up by three. So coming the other way. Gang over to Price near side. Gang. We'll drop it back for Price to run the offense. Now Price heads over into the corner. Wheela passing it off to Gang and then to Alger. And trying to turn the corner. And now Kirshner. Kirshner didn't have a shot. Clock down to six. Long three ball put up and no good from Kirshner. Comes right down in the hands of Healy. Hands it off to Rogers. Nine minutes to play. And the first half, Herons continue to be up by three. Washington now on the dribble. Near side, Healy, right back to the top. And Mechanic drives the lane off. Balance shot does not fall for Hunter, or excuse me, for Jackson. Hunter was trailing on the play, and now we're going to get a whistle, and it looks like a, a foul on the way to the basket. So Gang will go to the line and shoot two here, third team foul against the Statesman. And it looks like that foul is going to go against Healy, his first of the game. A couple of substitutions getting uh, ready to come in for U of R. Looks like Andrew Jackson will be checking in here momentarily and also getting ready to check into the game. Uh, Patrick Walker as the first shot for Gang Falls. It's 18-16. Rochester one of two from the stripe so far. Second shot coming. 
Hobar two from four for the Stripes so far in this first half. And Rogers will come off court for a breather here. And uh, Hobart head coach Stephen Thompson giving some instructions to Washington, talking to his players here right along the right alongside the official here by the scoring table. So now Gang puts the second shot up. This one will fall, and it's a one-point game. Hobart up by one. And a little bit of the press applied here is Jackson hanging back to defend against Healy. Healy speeds right by and then puts the brakes on coming into the front court. Ball passed around on the outside. Healy back with it on the far side. Washington at the top of the key, passing over. And they'll find number 11, Walker on the inside. But Walker feeds it out. Shot clock at six. Popping the shot is Healy off the back of the rim. No good. And U of R will scoop up with the rebound for the chance to take the lead in this game for the first time here at the 808 and counting mark. And the feed into Alger. The shot doesn't go. He gets his own put back for the rebound. And U of R goes up by one, 1918. So Healy on the pass from Walker on the inbound. Brings it back into the front court. 750 left to play here in the first half. 1918. U of R up by just a single point. Walker feeding over to Jackson. Now to Hunter. Hunter feeding back into Walker. Walker with a nice shot, kissing it off the glass for two, and it's 20 to 19. Hobart goes back up by a point. Trying to hustle his way to the basket. Was Gang well defended there. Three ball from outside the arc doesn't go, but then Gang comes back in. He kind of snuck in the back door for the rebound and the shot. It falls, and we're back to a one-point game, 21-20. So Healy back to work here. Over the top to Walker. Walker in the paint. Ooh, bit of a throw, underhanded circus shot, and the rebound's going to be tipped over the backstop and out of play. So that'll go to the uh, Statesman on the inbound. Good second effort there from uh, Hunter Mechanic, but couldn't get it to fall, and then it went up over top, last touched by a U of R player, so now a little bit of uh, confusion here as uh, Luke Flakertsy asking the official for a confirmation. Washington will come off court. And Hobart getting ready for the inbound. And they'll get it in just in the nick of time, but that pass gets away, goes out of bounds, and it'll be U of R basketball. Seven minutes left to play. U of R up by a point right now, 21 to 20. Jackson passing off the gang and back to Jackson as they bring it into the front court. And they'll pass it around the horn here back to gang on the outside. Looks to feed it over to Wheeler. Wheeler trying to back his way in, defended by Jackson. Mechanic gets around him and makes a nice play. 23-20, U of R up by three. Leahy now bringing across the front court, working off a pick set by Walker. And they'll do a quick give and go to Jackson Mechanic. Mechanic drives the lane, off balance shot, gets the roll. So that makes it a 23-22 game. Hobart down by one. Gang trying to go coast to coast to feed Alger, and Alger will get hip check. And at basket falls, count it. So Alger gets the bucket, it's 25-22, and he will go to the line to see if he can complete the three-point play. And that foul against Jackson Mechanic, his first of the game. So Ryan Alger on the line. Shoot the one and one here to try to convert the three-point play. 6.18 left on the clock. Three-point lead right now for U of R, 25-22. Alger's shot is up, and that one's going to drop. So three-point comp- three play complete, four-point lead now for the U of R in a game that's gone back and forth. Hobart did hold the lead for a pretty significant chunk, but U of R going on a little bit of a run here of late, opening up the lead to four points, biggest lead anybody's had so far in this game. And now Carter Mechanic working with it, turns the ball over. It's picked up by Wheeler. Wheeler in the lane, and he's going to draw a blocking foul as Carter Mechanic... Didn't have his feet planted, so he'll get called for the blocking foul. That'll be his first, and that'll put Wheeler to the line here to shoot two with 6.04 left to play. Pretty wide open, opening 10 minutes of the half, and now 
We're starting to see a little bit more fouling and foul shooting happen here that's slowing the tempo of the game. First shot is good for Wheeler. So that's two points for Wheeler on the game. Alger leading uh, the U of R players now with nine points and Jackson Mechanic leading Hobart with eight points so far. So second shot coming here for Wheeler. And that second shot will fall. Hobart with 16 fouls to just uh, two for U of R here in the first half. Brought back into the front court by David Corrales Marco back in the game. Walker trying to feed Jackson. Jackson trying to get in a hot feed to Carter. And Marco is able to clean that one up. Now Jackson draws two defenders. Shot clock at 10. Long three ball. Does not fall for Marco. And now he'll play defense here and seal the corner off from Jackson, who was trying to turn the corner and go baseline. He's forced to back it back out to Messino. Messino to Alger. Shot clock down to 10. And Jackson drives the lane through traffic and gets the bucket. And it looks like a timeout on the floor. 5.18 left to play, and the U of R is opening it up on a scoring run here. It is now 30-22, to 22, U of R leading Hobart. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. You're listening to Hobart Basketball on 105.7 WHWS. left to play here in the first half. The Statesmen were up by three points at one point, but now find themselves on the wrong end of an eight-point deficit to the University of Rochester, 30-22. to U of R's uh, shot percentage or field goal percentage has gone way up, up to 52.4%. And a bit of cold streak here. Hobart shooting 10 of 22 for the field for 45%. Uh, One of the key differences, two of nine for three-point land for U of R, and 0 for 5 for Hobart from beyond the arc. Statesman inbound. David Corrales Marco coming up into the front court after a hard pick was set by Carter Mechanic. Over on the far side, Lynch. Lynch over the top to Jackson. Jackson looking for somebody. He'll dribble, draw traffic in the paint, stops, pops, shoots, good. Jackson Mechanic with a classic power move there, getting the defender to jump. And then goes up uh, while the defender is on his way down to get the bucket and Hobart back within six, 30 to 24. U of R with the basketball. Wheela at the top of the key. Passing out to the far side to Jackson. Now to Alger. Alger right at the edge of the paint. Back out to Messino. Messino drawing a defender. Tries to dribble in. Oh, got away with the walk there. That one goes in and out, no good. Carter Mechanic with the rebound, gets it over to Marco. And Carter on the far side, passing it over to Walker. And they'll continue to work it around the perimeter. Back to Jackson, quick ball movement here from the Statesman. And now trying to power his way in the lane. Nice give and go attempt there by uh, Carter Mechanic on the delay. And when he moves to the hoop, he draws the foul. And that foul will go against uh, Dan Messino. That'll be his first of the game. And that will put Carter Mechanic on the line to shoot two. 4.07 left to play. Statesman can pull within four. First shot, nothing but net. 30 to 25. U of R sending some substitutes in as well. Jagosinski coming back in the game. Gang coming back in the game. Second shot now for Carter Mechanic. Up, off the back of the rim. And it'll be rebounded by Gang for U of R as we close in on four minutes to play here in the first half. U of R up by five right now, 30 to 25. Gang almost loses it on the dribble. Ball loose on the floor in between two U of R players. The officials call a whistle. 
Possession arrow is in favor of U of R. But apparently they're going to call a, uh, let's see, they're going to call a foul away from the basketball here. So that will give the ball to the Statesman. Lynch will inbound right next to the timing and scoring table. Over to Marco. Marco bringing it across the half-court line. Carter locked out there. And more man-to-man -man D here from U of R. Herons working for an open, excuse me, Statesman working for an open shot to get it to Jackson. Jackson throwing about four moves there and kisses one off the glass for two. Hobart back within three, 30 to 27 patients paying off there as they got Jackson Mechanic and he put a pretty move on his defender. Now coming the other way. Matt and Zura back in the game here for U of R. Alger passing the ball off on the outside. Jagosinski can't do anything with it, so he'll drop it in front of the Heron bench. Spin move by Messino, hard contact in the lane. And it looks like he completed the, uh, completed the movement for the shot, so they're gonna call a block on Walker. That'll be his first foul. So Messino. Will go to the line for the attempt to convert the three-point play. The basket did count, so it's 32-27. Trying to go up by six here. The shot from Messino goes through the net. Good. 33-27 with about 3.03 and counting left to play here in the first half. Marco back across half court. Dribbling on the far side. Drops off to Carter. Back to Marco. Lynch feeding it in. Then all the way across the court. Three ball up in the air from... Uh, David Corrales Marco and he delivers. Hobart within three, 33 to 30. 240 left to play here in the first half. They beat Alger on a quick give and go. And Alger being uh, helped up as he may have drawn the foul. Yep, they are going to call the foul on Walker. That'll be his second. So Alger will go to the line to shoot a one and one here. And Walker will head to the bench. Lynch will be back in the game here along with Goldberg for the Statesman. Alger puts this one up off the back of the rim. No good. Nice box out rebound by Jackson Mechanic. And he'll pass over to Marco. Marco making the only three-pointer so far of the half for the Herons. And now he'll drive to the outside. Lynch, Carter Mechanic drives the paint up and draws the hoop and the harm. So Carter Mechanic gets the score, makes it 35 32. And the foul is going to be on uh, Logan Jagosinski. That'll be his first of the game. So Carter Mechanic will go to the line for the chance to convert the three point play here. 2.20 left to play on the clock. Right-handed dribble for Carter. He'll set. Loft up off the back of the rim. No good. Goldberg trying to knock around the rebound. We're going to get a whistle, and it'll go the other way. And the foul is going to be called on Goldberg. Eighth team foul, so that puts the bonus situation into play now for the first time in this half in favor of the U of R. And uh, this will put Number uh, 24, C.J. Amsalom on line for a one and one. And off the rim, no good. Goldberg boxes out for the rebound for the Statesman. And we're closing in on 2-10 and counting left to play here in the first half. Statesman only down by three, 35-32. Feed to Jackson Mechanic. Mechanic has to go outside. Lynch passes out and then gets the ball back from Marco. They'll get it to Goldberg. Goldberg. Finding an open, Carter Mechanic. Mechanic drives the lane and gets uh, hacked on the way to the way to the basket. Mechanic kind of banging his head there, saying, "Yup, you got to make those shots." But he does draw two shots at the line for the Herons, or excuse me, for the Statesman. So, Carter Mechanic with a chance to draw the Statesman to within one, just inside of two minutes to play here. First shot off the front of the rim, no good. 
Statesman right now. Three of seven from three-point range. Rochester seven of ten right now. Second shot coming from Carter. Looking to pull the Statesman within two. This one gets the nice roll off the front and back of the rim. Drops in. It's 35-33. Minute 50 left to play. Ball back into the front court here. A little quick bounce pass from Gang. Now works it back out on the perimeter. They try to get it to Anselm, and Anselm will be called for a travel. Heavily defended there and tightly by Evan Goldberg, and it gets him to walk with the basketball, and the Statesmen now have the opportunity to tie or take the lead on a three-pointer. Minute 35 left to play. Marco back into the front court here for the Statesmen. Carter looking for an open man around the outside to Lynch. Lynch in the paint of a nice give and go feed and the Statesman tied the game at 35. And now Messino trying to come the other way behind the back dribble drops it back out to Anselm. In the front court here near side now with it is Kirshner back to Anselm. Passing around on the outside to Jagosinski. Shot clock at eight. Messino doesn't have a shot and he'll pass it over. Three ball attempt from Gang is no good. Herons have a chance to go back into the lead here with 50 seconds and counting. So they'll go back to Marco to run the point. Over to Carter. Carter bouncing over to Jackson. Jackson trying to back his way in. Doesn't have any room. Then gets a give and go from Marco on the baseline. Has to pass back out. Marco, three ball, no good. And Goldberg almost got called for the hack there on the rebound. U of R will come up with it. And it looks like maybe two-tenths of a second difference between the game clock and the shot clock, down to 18 seconds and counting. Messino binding his time. Now a U of R going into motion. Fed back out to Amsalem on the perimeter. Shot clock at seven, six, five. Amsalem. Holding the ball there, and now Messino, he's going to have to put something up or there's going to be a shot clock violation, and yep, there is. Shot clock violation with seven-tenths of a second left to play. Messino won too many dribbles, did not put the shot up before the shot clock hit zero, and now the officials call a timeout with seven-tenths of a second to talk about it. Pat Healy back in the game, so the... Statesman will have an opportunity basically to inbound and maybe somebody put up a long shot here to try to take the lead going into the locker room. Tied at 35. A little bit of confusion here now as uh, instructions being shouted out from the Hobart bench. They put a second and a half back on the clock. Comes in to Walker. Walker, long three ball. Oh, boy, almost got that one from in between the arc and half court. Bounced off the front of the rim, no good. And we'll go to the half with the University of Rochester and the Hobart Statesman deadlocked at 35 in a very back and forth first half. The Statesman leading for a good portion of the half, and then U of R taking it until late in the first half when the Herons, or excuse me, the Statesman tied up going to the locker room. So we'll step aside for a nine-minute timeout, and we'll come back with the first half stats for you. Once again, tied at 35, the Statesman and U of R. You're listening to Hobart Basketball on 105.7 WHWS.
And welcome back to Bristol Gymnasium at the half of a tie game here. Second game of tonight's doubleheader for Hobart and Wayne Smith College's Statesman and U of R locked up at 35. Once again, I'm Paul Small, Bill Morrison, engineering back at our Scanling Center studios. And the stats tell the, t tell the story of what was a very even period of basketball, although there were a couple of runs. Uh, the biggest lead for U of R happened at the 519 mark of the first period when they were up by eight. Hobart was up by seven at one point. That was back at the 1448 mark of the first half. Uh, the shooting percentages, Rochester shooting 52% on 13 of 25, 15 of 29 for Hobart, 51.7%. Uh, 7 of 10 from the charity stripe for Rochester at 70% to just 44% on 4 of 9 for Hobart. Uh, Three-pointers about even, 12.5% on 1 for 8 shooting from Hobart, 20% on 2 of 10 shooting by the University of Rochester. Hobart out-rebounding 18 to 13. Turnovers even at 5 apiece. Hobart with a little bit of an edge on the defensive boards as well as the offensive boards. The defensive boards a 13 to 11 edge. A uh, five to two edge on the offensive boards, and Hobart staying in this game, scoring 26 points out of the paint to just 20 for U of R. So we are locked at 35 as we get ready for the start of the second half of play. We'll take a two minute timeout, and when we come back, we'll be ready for a second half action here at the Bristol Gymnasium. Tied at 35 between the U of R and Hobart. You're listening to Hobart Basketball on 105.7 WHWS. Getting ready for the start of the second half here at Bristol Gymnasium. Hobart and the University of Rochester locked up at 35 apiece. Jackson Mechanic leading all scorers right now, leading Hobart with 12 points on 6 of 10 shooting. Uh, Carter Mechanic with 9, Lynch with 4. Uh, looks like uh, Hunter Mechanic has 4. Uh, Corrales Marco, the lone three ball of the game for the Statesman in the first half with 3 points and 1 point for Evan Goldberg from the stripe and uh, Patrick Walker contributing two points. On the other side, Ryan Alger leading the U of R scorers with 11 points on five for seven shooting. Next closest would be Ross Gang with five points on one of three shooting, four points for uh, Matt Wheeler, and then three points for Messino, three points for uh, the forward uh, Nemzura, and then two points for Mitchell Kirshner as well as Andrew Jackson. So the clock about down to zero 
Our next broadcast of Hallbright Basketball here on WHWS coming up after the Thanksgiving break. That'll be here at Bristol Gymnasium one week from tonight, 7 o'clock tip-off, when the Statesmen will take on Keith College. Again, Statesmen coming into this game 3-2, and 1-0 in the conference. And U of R, meanwhile, coming in 5-0, and playing their first conference game of the season. So players starting to make their way out on the court for the start of the second half of play. And this may be a uh, case of a game where whoever makes the least mistakes may wind up winning because it's been pretty back and forth. Hobart did have the lead for 12 minutes of the opening half before uh, U of R had the lead and then Hobart tied it up coming into the locker room. U of R inbound, second half underway. Messino and Gang will trade it back and forth. Messino working off the top of the key off a pick from Alger. Back to Gang. Messino, three ball, and this one bounces off the rim, and coming in hot for the rebound was Walker. Rodgers will bring it across half court now for the States with their first possession of the second half. Walker with it again, getting it to Jackson. Jackson turns, dribbles, back out to Carter. Rodgers now driving the lane, putting one up, and he'll get the hoop and the harm. So first points of the game, in the second half, go to the Statesman. Rogers with an aggressive drive to the bucket, draws the foul. And that foul will go on Mitchell Kirshner. And that will be uh, Kirshner's, I believe, first or second of the game. Rogers to convert the three point play off the back of the rim. Can't get the rebound. U of R will corral that. So the Statesman up by two now, 37 35 early on here in the second half. Messino again dribbling the left hand side. They try to get a feed to Alger. Alger trying to back his way in, guarded by Jackson Mashanik, gets the shot over top of him, and we're back to a tie game at 37. Rogers calling out the play now. Drops it off for Lynch. Lynch passing over to Jackson, and now turning the corner, Carter and Shannon trying to get the kiss off the glass, couldn't get it to fall. And the rebound picked up by U of R. Alger getting that one. Now Wheeler brings it up into the front court. Tries to feed into Alger. Alger throwing out one for number 24, C.J. Amslam. His three ball doesn't go. Comes back the other way here. Tie game with a minute and a half gone here in the second half. Rogers near side. Over to Carter. Carter, Jackson thinks about a three. Dribbles in, stays out of the paint. Now in the paint. Triple teamed, spin move, throws up the shot, and it rolls and goes in. Power move there from Jackson Mishanek. That's his 14th point of the game, and it puts Hobart back up by two, 39-37. Aaron pass by U of R over the head of Alger. So the Statesman getting the opportunity to maybe extend the lead here on the turnover. And Walker will inbound it here for the Statesman. Rogers sending everybody down court. Coming across the half court line. Now dribbling up at the top of the arc. Over to Jackson Mechanic. Mechanic tries to go baseline and tried to make a uh, pass around. And that went out of bounds, but was last touched by a U of R player. He was trying to get that one around two defenders. So Lynch will inbound here for the Statesman up over the top to Jackson. Jackson out to Carter. And back to Jackson. Jackson fakes the three, gets his defender up in the air, drives the lane for the finger roll. It's good. 41 37 Hobart. So Jackson Mechanic putting on an inside shooting clinic here with some pretty nice moves. Now playing some tough D on Messina before he jumps back in. They left Alger unguarded for a second. He tries to get a finger roll up. That rolls off. He gets his own rebound. Second shot finally takes a bounce and goes in. And it's 41 39, 17 25 left to play in the game. So back and forth action here as the Statesman and U of R trading buckets. Jackson Mechanic looking for somebody, drives the lane, backs out, nice bounce pass and an underhanded ball by Walker for the lay-in. It's 43-39, Hobart back up by four. Nice underhanded shot by Patrick Walker there on the layup to put the Statesman up by four. 17 minutes of counting left to play here in the second half. Alger now looking for the give and go to Gong, Gong from three-point land, swish. And that pulls U of R within one, 43-42. So Rogers 
back up here for the Statesman. Jackson Mechanic, one hands the ball, passes over in the corner to Rogers. Rogers to Lynch, and they'll feed inside to Jackson. Jackson double team, another pretty cut there by Walker for his second consecutive bucket. And the Statesman back up by three, 45-42. The Statesman working that cut perfectly on offense. U of R now with Messino dropping the ball off for Wheela. Over to Alger, Alger holding it for a second, over to Gong. Gong draws two defenders here, now tries to drive the lane up in the paint and gets the finger roll. And we're at 45-42, timeout on the floor. 15-59 left to play, States went up by one, 45-44, and we'll step aside for 30 seconds. You're listening to Hobart States win basketball on 105.7 WHWS. left to play in what has been a great back and forth game here between the Statesman and U of R. Uh, Field goal percentages now leaning back towards Hobart, now shooting 57.1%, 20-35 from the field, to 53.1%, 17-32 for the U of R. As play resumes here, Statesman inbound. Rogers coming across half court, speeds one out, and a three ball from Hunter Mechanic left wide open in the corner. And it's 48-44, Statesman up by four. U of R now, Messino trying to drive the lane, and that one went off Lynch on its way out of bounds, and it'll be an inbound for U of R under the Hobart basket. 15-42 left to play. And substitution coming in, Jackson Mechanic will come back in for Patrick Walker, who has had some uh, clutch plays here in helping the Statesman take the lead here early on in the second half. Over the top inbound pass by Price is snagged by Nemzura. And Nemzura now working down into the corner. Messina passing up top. Wheela from the lane, no good. Jackson Mechanic boxes out for the rebound. Statesman have a chance to extend the lead. 15-20 left to play, up by four, 48-44. Rogers pass into Carter. Carter to Jackson. Jackson was looking for an over-the-top pass, and he'll put it out to Rogers. Three ball for Rogers in and out. Rebound comes out of Carter's hands and winds up in the hands of Price as Price brings it up into the front court for the U of R. And then they'll pass over into the corner. And Matt couldn't do anything with it. Instead, we'll pass it back out. Matt back with it once again. Dropping it off on the outside to Amselum. Amselum. Now watching, driving baseline to get the feet over in the corner and the three ball by Nemzura is good. And U of R draws back to within one, 48-47. 14 and a half minutes to play in the game. Rogers slowing the pace down here a little bit now. Hunter over the top and Jackson shot blocked from behind. That'll be a foul. So Jackson Mishanek will go to the line to shoot two. And it looks like they're going to call that foul on Nemzura. That would be his first. So Jackson Mechanic, so far, getting his first free throw of the game. That uh, makes it 49 47. Isaiah Washington checking into the game now for the Statesman. So Jackson Mechanic for his second shot here. Looking to put the Statesman up by three. And this one right down the barrel. It's 50-47 in favor of the Statesman. Gong bringing the ball up now for the Yellow Jackets of the University of Rochester, guarded by Washington. Passing over to Nemzura. And Nemzura dropping to Amsalem. They'll come near side. Wheela trying to feed it into Price. Price coming back out. U of R, a lot of motion here in the pass. Stolen out of the air. Nice steal from Hunter Mechanic. 
Statesman will bring it back the other way on the turnover. Jackson Mishanek, spin move in the lane and out. Nice movement there by Lynch to shake his defender. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 15 seconds and counting. Jackson Mishanek thinks about driving the lane, now into the paint and puts up a shot. It will not fall, but he does get charged with a foul. He's gonna get called for the charge. So that's the second foul for Jackson Mishanek. And Hobart can't convert on the possession. U of R will inbound down by three, 50 to 47. Clock running with 13 minutes, 40 seconds and counting. Price dribbling right side. Drops the ball for Nemzura. And now trying to drive into the lane was Gong. He checks up, backs it out to Wheela. Dropping it back to Amsalem. And now Wheela in the paint. Has to make the shot over the top. And he gets one off the glass with about five seconds left on the shot clock. U of R back to within one, 50 to 49. Clock continuing to run towards 13 minutes to play in this game. Rodgers back into the front court for the Statesman. Hunter passing over to Lynch. And now Washington tries to drive the lane. Gets hacked. No call. And a three ball from Rodgers. He nails another one. He's two for four now from beyond the arc. And the Statesman go back up by four, 53-49. And then driving it past Washington, Matt Wheeler returns the favor on the other end of the court. We're going back and forth again, and it's back to a two-point lead for the Statesman, 53-51. Rogers doing work on the dribble here, trying to shake his defender. Jackson draws a double team. Pause, posts up, into the lane, drives on Anselm, and he will draw the foul. The shot doesn't go, but he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. So Jackson Mechanic two for two from the stripe tonight. And he will go to the line to shoot another two here. No players really in foul trouble at this point. Messino and Kirshner with two each for Rochester. Walker, Jackson Mechanic and Rogers with two each for the Statesman. Jackson Mechanic's first shot off the back of the rim, no good. Remains 53-51. Leahy going to come into the game now for the Statesman. And Lynch will get a breather on the sideline. So Mechanic waiting for his second shot now. 12-18 left to play in the game. Again, Statesman up by two. And second shot for Mechanic. Front of the rim, no good. Washington gets the rebound. Keeps the Statesman alive. Jackson for three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Washington down in a heap. And we're going to have a foul called. Washington being held back up. And Washington drew the foul there, unfortunately. That'll be his second. And that'll turn the ball over to the Yellow Jackets. Evan Goldberg checking back into the game here, giving Jackson Mechanic a breather at the bench. So Hobart up by two, 53-51. U of R bringing the ball into the front court. Wheela. To Alger, then dropping it off for Logan Jagosinski. Jagosinski trying to feed, and Wheela, tough shot in the lane, doesn't fall. Goldberg gets the rebound for the Statesman, and they'll hustle it back up into the front court. Hobart up by two here, 53-51. Hunter Mechanic to Washington, to Leahy. Leahy thought about driving the lane, backs out. Shot clock down to 10. Rogers drives in to Washington. Leahy, shot clock down to six to five. Rogers for three, just off the mark, off the top of the front of the rim, no good. And it'll be rebounded by Jagosinski. Jagosinski brings it in. Dribbles off to the corner of the paint, up in the lane. Soft floater gets that one to fall, and we're tied at 53. So again, back and forth action here. And timeout will be called by the Statesman. 11.06 left to play. Well, we started the second half tied, and we're about halfway through the second half. Tied at 53 between the U of R and Hobart. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. This is Hobart Basketball, a 105.7 WHWS.
11.06 left to play, and we are back tied here at 53 here in the second half between the Statesman and U of R. Timeout uh, still in progress here. Both teams getting their last-minute instructions before they head back to the court. Shot percentage just about dead even now, 55.3% for U of R, 55 for Hobart. And Hobart has significantly improved on their three-point percentage up to 23.1%. They're 3 of 13. Rochester now much better, 4 of 14 from beyond the arc. And still the uh, free throw percentage for Hobart lacking here a little bit at 42.9%, 6 of 14, uh, 7 of 10 from the charity stripe for the Yellow Jackets. Now play will resume here with an inbound by the Statesman. Delay, he puts the ball in play to Corrales Marco back in the game. Corrales Marco working off a couple of picks from Price and Goldberg, working it back and forth over to Hunter Mechanic. Hunter Mechanic dropping to Leahy and back out to Price. Price has had some quality minutes coming off the bench in this game. Marco, shot from the lane, no good off the top of the basket. Now Marco will corral the rebound and then it lands on the floor. U of R scoops it up. They try to get the break going and up for the dunk. Logan Jagosinski, first dunk of the game, and that puts U of R up by two, 55-53. The U of R fans on the bench standing for that one. And now Price loses the handle on a pass, and that'll be a turnover. And give the ball back to U of R now with a chance to expand the lead a little bit, up by two, 55-53. Andrew Jackson back in the game for the Yellow Jackets. He'll inbound. And signaling now is Gong. Jagosinski trying to feed inside. Wheeler trying to turn the corner and then tries to get it to Alger. Alger was fouled before the shot. Three team fouls on each side. It'll be an inbound here for U of R. So Gong will get ready to put the ball in play. And now he'll swap out. Jackson will bring it in. And here comes Jackson Mechanic back on the court as Price heads back to the bench. So Jackson over the top to Gong. Gong corrals it. And Jagosinski for three. Air ball. Put back. Almost got in, but a foul away from the basket. And Hunter Mechanic drawing that foul. And they're going to say that was actually in the act of shooting. So that's going to put Alger on the line to shoot two. Alger with 15 points, 7 of 10 from the field, 1 of 2 from the charity stripe. Trying to put U of R up by three, and it will not happen on this one. Off the uh, back or the rim, no good. So still 55-53, 10 minutes, two seconds left in the game. Second shot now for Ryan Alger is up, and this one rolls in and out. Goldberg grabs the rebound here for the Statesman, so the Statesman looking to get back to evens here. Rogers working the ball here on the front court into Jackson. Jackson looking to drive the lane, draws two defenders, tough shot over the top, and Goldberg's there for the putback in the bucket. Tied at 55, 940 left to play. Pretty anticipation there by Goldberg. Saw that coming up over the top and just got right up there for the putback. Now doing some work guarding Alger and keeping him out of the paint. And this shot, a circus-type shot from Gong, no good, and Goldberg comes up with another board. And Rodgers will bring it back across. Hobart with a chance to go back into the lead on this possession. Jackson Mechanic on the move. Goldberg just on the edge of the arc. Looking for a pass. Drops it to Leahy. Leahy trying to get it into Mechanic because that one will be poked away by Gong and knocked out of bounds. Hobart basketball. So Leahy will inbound. Everybody under motion. Corrales Marco back in the game now for the Statesman. Jackson Mechanic in the paint. Can't get the floater to fall. Goldberg couldn't get the rebound. Marco almost stealing the ball from Jagodzinski. And now Wheela puts up a floater. Second chance shot gets up and in. I think they'll give credit to Alger for the putback on that one. And it's 57-55. U of R back up by two as the clock continues to run. Down to 8.35 left to play in the game. Goldberg off the pass from Marco. Whistle of reach-in foul is going to be called here on Gong. So Gong drawing the foul. 
And that is his second of the game. 14 fouls each side. It'll be an inbound here for the Statesman. Carter Mechanic back in the game, ready to put the ball back in play here for the Statesman. Everybody's starting to move and cut. Pass comes out to Marco, to Jackson Mechanic. Jackson looking back over to the corner. Marco, two-point shot off the top of the rim. No good. Goldberg with the rebound to the putback and draws the foul. Nice play there from Evan Goldberg. Eyes open there. Gets the putback, draws the foul in the process, and Goldberg will go to the line. One for two from the tripe so far tonight. Tied at 57. Chance to give the Statesman a one-point lead with 824 left to play in the game. Foul shot up. Good. Statesman go back up by one. Messino now back in the game here for U of R. He'll bring the ball across half court. Being guarded by Marco. Both teams playing man-to-man -man defense. We haven't seen any zone any time at all in this game from either side. Oh, and there is contact, and they're going to call a blocking foul on Hunter Mechanic, and he is not happy with the call. But cooler heads will prevail. He does try to plead his case to the official, but not having it. So both teams now standing at five team fouls, and that is Hunter Mechanic's third foul of the game. Quick cleanup on the court. A couple of more substitutions coming in as Nim Zero will come out back in the game for the U of R. Jackson will inbound to Wheela. And Wheela back to Jackson. Jackson trying to get that inside. Whistle. Offensive foul. Away from the basket. Position goes to the Statesman. And Messino picks up his third foul of the game. Clock at 8.03. And Marco will bring the ball into the front court after a pretty stout pick set by Goldberg in the backcourt. And now we're going to get a whistle, a foul away from the basket. And Messino that quickly picking up his fourth foul, and he is going to have to uh, head out now. And that fifth team for that seventh team foul puts Hobart in the bonus for the first time in this contest so that'll put David Corrales Marco on the line for his first foul shots of the game first one swish so Hobart sitting at a 59 57 advantage right now second shot coming for Marco now Marco now with uh, three points on the game Make it four, and turn that into uh, almost five. Bounced in and out of the basket. So Hobart up by two. U of R hustling it back in. One player in foul trouble on the bench. Messino with four fouls. Long three ball from U of R. Does not fall. Scramble for the rebound. Jackson coming up with it for the Yellow Jackets. It'll pass it back out as Kirshner is back in the game as well. Kirshner cutting over to the corner. Gong was trying to possibly uh, set up uh, Namzura for a cut from the corner, and now we get another whistle and another foul away from the basketball. And that is going to be a second foul against Carter Mechanic. Sixth team foul against Hobart, so one more, and both teams will wind up in the bonus. 729 left to play. Hobart up by two, 59-57. And that over the top knocked away, but then... Right there to grab the putback was Gong. It was batted right to him. And that ties the game back up at 59. Everybody kind of a little bit shocked at that play. And now the Statesman spin move by Carter Mechanic, and he'll get the basket. Tough shot, but he gets it to fall 61-59. Hobart back up by two. Jackson trying to do the work all by himself, and he'll go coast to coast for two. We're back at 61 inside seven minutes to play. Marco back in the front court. Nice speed to the inside. Price off the glass for two. Hobart goes back up by two. When Price goes on a hot streak, he has been getting all sorts of great looks to the inside, and he's been cashing in on almost all those opportunities. Great six-man play off the bench. Three ball from Gong does not fall. 
Marco gets the rebound for the Statesmen for a chance to extend the lead here. They've been going back and forth onesies, twosies, and evens here for about the past seven minutes of this game. Marco dribbling. Price drives the lane, backs up, spin move. Tries to get the finger roll off the front of the rim. No good. Price tries to get the rebound, but they're going to call a foul away from the basket. And this one's going to go against the Statesman. And they're going to call that foul on uh, Walker. C.J. Anselm back into the game now. And that is the fourth foul on the uh, Hobart side for Walker. I, I mistakenly called him uh, Price there, but Walker has been stout off the bench here for the Statesman, but now he too playing with four fouls. And he will come out of the game, and Andrew Lynch will come back in here. So 64-61, Hobart up by three. Second shot here from the U of R falls for Nemzura. And we are within a point. Again, 64-63, Hobart has the lead. And official timeout on the floor. Just confirming with the scores table. By the way, possession arrow showing right now in favor of the Statesman. So 17 fouls on each side. Both teams in the bonus. Marco stutter stepping his way into the front court. Clock down to six minutes to play. Lynch to Carter, back to Lynch. Now comes out to Hunter, back to Carter. All three mechanics are on the floor. Carter passing out, shot clock at nine. Walker holding, passing into Carter. Carter, circus shot under the basket is good. 65-63, Hobart. Nice scoop underhanded circus shot layup there from Carter Mechanic. Putting the Statesman back up by a pair. Oh, and they're going to call a reach-in foul that time on Carter. Looked like he tried to get the ball cleanly away from Amsalem, but the official saw otherwise. 65-63, 5.35 left to play, and uh, that is going to put uh, number uh, 24 on the line to shoot to C.J. Amsalem. First one does not go, so Hobart will get the rebound. Five and a half minutes to play. Hobart up by two, 65-63. Marco passing over onto the far side to Carter. Dropping to Walker. Now to Jackson. Jackson's been quiet here for the past couple of minutes. Hasn't gotten many looks. Has a look now. Spins, drives, drops the ball, picks it back up, and gets the hoop. Jackson with Shattuck doing some hefty work there to increase Hobart's lead to four, 67-63. Had it, lost it, had it, lost it, still made the shot. Five minutes to play in the game. And U of R now with Amslam dropping it off. Wheela, untouched three ball off the side of the rim, no good. Statesman will let it go out of bounds knowing they'll get possession here on the inbound. So 4.49 left to play. Timeout will be called here by the University of Rochester. So 4.49 left, Hobart up by four, 67-63 over the U of R. You're listening to Hobart Basketball on WHWS. And welcome back here to Bristol Gymnasium. 4.49 left to play in the game. And timeout called here by the University of Rochester. They are up or down by four to the Statesman. 67-63. Both teams in the bonus situation. 18 fouls on Hobart, seven on U of R. Players in foul trouble right now. Messino for U of R with four. Patrick Walker for the Statesman with four. Carter Mechanic, the only uh, other player with three fouls, along with Hunter Mechanic. Jackson Mechanic has two. 4.45 left to play. Marco brings it back in the front court here for the Statesman. 
Holding the lead by four, looking to extend the lead. Pass comes over in the corner. Lynch will find Jackson Mechanic looking to back his way into the lane. Up and gets the roll. 69-63, six-point lead. Biggest lead for the Statesman here in the second half with 4.20 left to play. Clutch play in the paint there from Jackson Mechanic. And now Messino back in the game with four fouls. Passing the ball out to Gong. And then it comes back out to Amsalem. And they're going to call a uh, foul on Hunter Mechanic. And that'll be Hunter Mechanic's fourth. So now Hunter joins Walker in the fourth foul category for the Statesman with 4.08 left to play. Looked like for the longest time, like nobody was going to wind up in foul trouble in this game. And that has changed as the physical intensity has ramped up here a little bit. Front end of the one and one is good for Mitchell Kirshner. That'll make it 69-64, five-point lead for the Statesman with 4.08 left to play. Second shot now coming. And second shot, drain. So Kirshner nails both his shots from the charity stripe. And U of R draws back to within four, 69-65. to 65. By the way, Jackson Mechanic leading all scores right now, 22 points. Lynch. Passing it into Jackson. Jackson looking for help. Over to Hunter. Hunter, spin move, drives the lane, block, gets his own rebound. Blocked again, knocked out, and U of R picks up the rebound. Brought into the front court quickly here. Messino from just beyond the foul line. Now, oh boy, that was dangerous. Went body to body there for the rebound. And now Gong off balance shot in and out. And both Carter and Jackson Mechanic box out for the Statesman to get the rebound. Corrales Marco brings it across the half court line and he'll call for a timeout. So the score is 69 65, 322 left to play. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. You're listening to Hobart Basketball on 105.7 WHWS. Welcome back to Bristol Gymnasium. 322 left to play. Statesman up by four, 69-65. Statesman calling time out there after Kirshner nailed both of his foul shots. So they will have possession and inbound when we come back from the timeout. Hobart with the edge right now, 53.7%. 29 of 54 from the field to 25 of 50 and 50% for U of R. Again, Jackson Mechanic leading all scores with 22 points. Carter Mechanic with 13, the only other player in double digits for Hobart. On the U of R side, it is uh, still Ryan Alger leading with 15 points. Ross Gang has 12. Matthew Wheela has 10 as the double digit scores for U of R. So ball about to be inbounded. Play back underway. Corrales Marco down to about 318 left, and they're going to say redo that play. Didn't uh, have the music kicked off before the ball was inbounded, so they might wind, wind time back onto the clock as well. The official conferring with the uh, timekeeper right now, and it looks like, yep, they are going to reset the game clock here. So waiting for the game clock to be reprogrammed. I believe it'll go back to 322, and it looks like everything is good. All right, so the ball will go back in the hands of Carter Mechanic for the inbound. Marco will get it on the inbound. Marco, one of the uh, shorter players on the team, but has a lot of foot speed. Very good ball handler as well on the dribble. Out to Carter Mechanic just outside the arc. Now pulls up the top of the foul line. Feet inside and up over the top. Walker couldn't get that shot to fall. Down to three minutes to play. U of R hustling their way back up, and whoa, Marco almost getting called for the reach-in. Shot fired up, and 
Looks like they're gonna call an offensive foul on U of R instead of the tie up. And that is a break for the Statesmen because that is going to put them on the line to shoot the front half of a one and one. So Carter Mechanic will step up to the line. Carter tonight, three of seven from the line. 2.54 left to play. Hobart's still up 69, 65. Make that 70, 65 now. So Carter Mechanic with a clutch free throw down the stretch here. Looking to extend the lead to six. This one off the front of the rim, no good. Alger rebounds here. The Statesman left everybody back. Not worried about the offensive board in this case. Off of the foul shot. Over the top, Alger on a give and go, and he gets a crazy bounce off the glass to make that one go. So Ryan Alger scored, scoring his uh, 15th point of the game. 67 for University of Rochester, 70 for the Statesman. Lynch back in the game, handling the ball. Has it knocked away, keeps it within half court. Nice hands there. Lynch kept that ball in play. And now Marco thought about a three ball and shot fired. Lynch can't get the three ball to, foul, to fall. We're down to 2.10 to play. U of R looking for an opportunity here and charge is called. Connor Mechanic giving up the body there and the charge is called on Ross Gang, and it'll come back the other way for the Statesman. Third foul on Ross Gang, and the cleanup crew having to come back out here, wipe down the floor in a spot, and we'll get ready for the inbound. Hobart up by three, 70 to 67. Two minutes, nine seconds left to play, which can be a short time or really long time, depending on whether or not we get into the trading fouls back and forth here once we get into the final minute, minute and a half of this game. They're checking things out there on the floor to make sure that uh, nobody's going to slip. And Carter Mechanic will step over and be called over to the spot by the official here to inbound. So the inbound comes to Marco back over to Carter and Carter will bring it across here. Down to two minutes to play in the game. Statesman up by three. And foul called away from the basket. And that's going to be a one and one shot opportunity as the foul is called on number 10, Messino. So Dan Messino out of the game on his fifth foul. And that is now a double bonus for Hobart. So Carter Mechanic will get ready to step to the line and shoot. And Corrales Marco getting some instructions from Hobart head coach Stephen Thompson and assistant Ben Horwitz. And he's going to call the players over here for a quick conference. Jackson will step into the game as a substitute here for U of R. Not a charge timeout here. Timeout was not called but just a quick chance for a brief huddle while the substitution was being made. Minute 55 left to play. Statesman up by three, 70 to 67. Carter Mechanic on the line. First shot off the front of the rim, no good, but it is double bonus, so he'll get a second shot. Mechanic, three dribbles. This one will fall nicely. Four-point lead, 71-67 for the Statesman. Down to a minute 50 and counting left to play. Statesman not worrying about challenging the uh, point guard coming in to the front court. They want to get back into their one-on-one -on -one defense. Looking for a turnover or a steal here to try to get the ball back and extend the lead. From the corner, Jackson's three ball in and out, rebounded. Nice box out rebound by Patrick Walker. 90 seconds left to play. And we'll see if U of R starts giving some fouls here. Marco with the ball. Shot clock at 15. Carter Mechanic drives the lane, puts it up off the side of the rim. No good. He got knocked backwards. And now coming the other way, Jackson over into the corner. Kirshner for three. No good. U of R gets the rebound. Gong three. No good. Knocked all the way back and back across half court. Shot clock. At 16, at 15, Gong loses the ball for a minute, and they're going to call Corrales Marco for a reach-in. 
So David Corrales Marco being called for the reach in. And now both teams in the double bonus. 59.9 seconds left and Ross Gang on the line. Three for four from the charity stripe. His first shot, good. 71-68 uh, now the score. Matt Zimzira checking back into the game here for U of R. Second shot on the way from Gong. It's good. And it is 71-69. Timeout called here by U of R. 59.9 seconds left. Hobart nursing a two-point lead. 71-69. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. You're listening to Hobart Basketball on 105.7 WHWS. Well, we are set up for what could be a very thrilling conclusion to regulation or a possibility of going to bonus basketball here tonight at the Bristol Gymnasium. Uh, earlier on tonight, Dwayne Smith Heron's losing to the U of R 92-48, but this one tipped in favor of the Statesman right now, 71-69 with 59.9 seconds left. Position will be uh, to Hobart. When we come back out of the timeout, both teams had 10 fouls each, one player fouling out. That was Dan Messino, who uh, fouled out for U of R. Hunter Mechanic and Patrick Walker both playing with four fouls right now for the Statesman. Full court press will be in effect here for U of R as Carter Mechanic waits for the opportunity to inbound, as once again the official having a uh, conversation with the timing and scoring table. Not the first time that has happened this evening. Double-checking the possession arrow, and that is in favor of Hobart. And uh, Coach uh, Luke Flakertsy directing traffic for his Yellow Jackets who may suffer their first loss of the season. Marco breaks the press. Oh, and Walker's pass is tipped away. And U of R gets the ball now with a chance to tie this game. 50 seconds left. Three ball from the corner. No good. Kept in bounds. But no, they are going to say that Alger stepped on the end line. Hobart basketball. Oh, boy. Trying to break the press. And Lynch lost the pass. Now Carter Mechanic. Well, inbound it to Jackson, and Carter looking for somewhere to go. Gets it up to Lynch. They've got a hustle, and we get a whistle. Not sure what the whistle was for. And looks like both teams will go to the benches here, so perhaps another timeout was called. We'll keep it right here. 46.8 seconds left on the clock. Jackson Mechanic uh, continuing to lead all scores, 22 points. On the opposing side, Ryan Alger leading U of R with 17 points. Stats pretty much even. Hobart just has the edge in uh, overall rebounds, 34 to 32. Assists pretty much even, 11 to 10 in favor of Hobart. Nine turnovers in the game for U of R, eight for the Statesman. And points in the paint, really the only differing stat here, edge 48 to 40 for points in the paint for the Statesmen. So they've been uh, doing a great job from inside tonight. So apparently uh, we're having some type of officials conference over here. Officials have called timeout. And again, clock frozen at 46.8 seconds. Both teams huddling up at their respective benches. And I think uh, one of the uh, Hobart assistants going over looking for confirmation on exactly what was going on from the official here. And they have actually run the clock down. The clock now sits at 39 seconds. 
So again, both teams in double bonus, 10 fouls each. Currently on the floor right now for the uh, Statesmen are Corrales Marco, Lynch, Walker, Carter Mechanic, and Jackson Mechanic. On the other side coming out, Matt Nemzura, along with Matt Wheeler, Mitchell Kirshner, Ross Gang, and Ryan Alger on the U of R side. All right, a little bit more floor cleanup. Hobart will inbound, and they've reset the clock again to 39.8 seconds. Hobart up by two. Carter Mechanic looking to put the ball in play. Nice little touch pass to Jackson, and back to Marco. Marco's pass tipped, picked up by Ross Gang. Gang trying to drive the lane, and Jackson Mechanic laid out the body but gets called for the block. Tie game at 71, the shot counts. Gang has a chance to give U of R the lead with 30.8 seconds remaining. Aiden Rogers coming back in the game. We haven't seen him in a while. Rogers coming back in here for the Statesman. Rogers, one of only three players to hit a three ball in this game for the Statesman. Three-point play is converted, 72-71. Another timeout on the floor, 30.8 seconds left. U of R back up in this game by one, 72-71. We'll be back in 30 seconds with more Hobart basketball on 105.7 WHWS. Welcome back to Bristol Gymnasium. 30.8 seconds left. U of R taking the lead on a uh, shot from Ross Gang, or actually uh, was uh, the foul shot from the hoop and the harm as Jackson Mechanic laid the body out but uh, got the blocking foul instead of drawing the charge. Sometimes, you, uh, sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug in a case like that. And Mechanic didn't get the call that he was looking for there. So now with 30.8 seconds left, the Statesmen find themselves down by just a point. Rodgers getting the ball on the inbound, threads the needle, breaks the defense, gets the ball out into the front court, down to 20 seconds to play, dribbling 360 degrees, spinning, shooting, and not getting the shot to fall. It's Walker, but the putback is there. Hobart goes up by one point on the putback from Jackson Mechanic. Clock down to 14 seconds. Shot clock is off. U of R trying to spin it in. That one goes out of bounds, but touched by Walker as they were trying to get, Gong was trying to get the pass out there. And now with 8.8 .8 seconds left to play, Hobart nursing a one point lead. So this game back and forth now getting dramatic here in the closing seconds and another timeout will be called. So we'll step aside for 30 seconds as well. Hobart up by one, 73-72. This is Hobart basketball on 105.7 WHWS. Eight point eight seconds left to go here from Bristol Gymnasium. U of R will be inbound in the ball when we come out of this timeout. Hobart leading by a point, seventy-three to seventy-two. So both teams huddled up here at their benches. Now Hobart did have a four-point lead, but. Had a hard time breaking the uh, full court press and then Jackson Mechanic getting 
called for a blocking foul. Allowed Ross Gang to convert a three-point play to go, uh, go up with the lead. But then uh, Hobart on a shot put up by Walker, a put back by Mechanic, up by one. Tried to float over the top, and Jackson Mechanic gets it for the tie-up. Possession, Hobart. Well, Mechanic clutched there. Saw that pass coming over the top. Gets the jump ball call, possession arrow. Goes in the direction of the Statesman, up by one now with 7.1 seconds left to play, but they've got to be careful. Get the ball inbounds here. And one more timeout going to be called. So we'll keep it right here. 7.1 seconds left to play. Statesman will be inbounding. Jackson Mechanic now with 24 points. Carter Mechanic with 15. Only players in double digits for the Statesman. Hunter Mechanic with 7. Evan Goldberg with 6. Patrick Walker off the bench with 8. Some of those coming clutch early in the second half. Andrew Lynch with 4. And David Corrales Marco with four. Over on the other side, uh, Ryan Alger and Ross Gang each with 17 points. Matt Wheeler with 10. And uh, then you have Matt Nimzura with eight. TC Price with five. Anthony Jackson and Logan Jagodzinski with four. And uh, Dan Messino, before he fouled out, three points. Next game for the Statesmen will be right here at the Bristol Gymnasium. We'll have coverage of the game a week from tonight when they uh, will welcome in Keuka College. 7 p.m. tip-off here on 105.7 WHWS. So this is an all-important inbound here for the Statesmen. If they could successfully get the ball in bounds, they can hope the U of R fouls them, gives them a chance to extend the lead from the charity strike. And this one over the top and knocked down and picked off by U of R. Five seconds, four, gong for three. Game winner, no good. Rebound touched by Lynch. He tried to keep it in bounds and with a half second left, it'll be one more inbound for the University of Rochester. And they are gonna bring Evan Goldberg in to put the tallest players out on the floor. Half a second left on the clock. Uh, Coach uh, Flakertsy out questioning the officials, and he's going to take his final timeout with a half second left on the clock. Well, the inbound pass, they tried to go over the top. It was tipped. Jackson got it, tried to feed it over, and the three ball for the game winner did not go. Bounced off the side of the rim. Lynch saw the ball come down inbounds. Tried to sweep it, keep it inbounds, and unfortunately put his foot on the end line. So that'll give U of R one chance to inbound the ball with a half second left. So this is basically going to be have to have to be a uh, lob and shoot for U of R to have a chance to either win the game or perhaps draw a foul and win the game from the strike. Otherwise, Hobart will sneak out of here with a 73-72 win and hand U of R its first loss of the season. So the lineup coming out on the floor, Rogers, Goldberg, Walker, Carter Mishanek and, and Jackson Mishanek for the Statesman. Inbound in the ball will be Matt Wheela. And the coach arguing here with the official on the sideline and finally walking away. And here comes the inbound. Ball is inbounds, it goes out of bounds off the hands of Mitchell Kirshner and the Statesmen celebrate as they hang on in a barn burner here tonight at Bristol Gymnasium. The final score, Statesman 73, U of R 72. Jackson Mechanic leading all scores with 24 points. Carter Mechanic with 15 in the winning effort. Hunter Mechanic with seven. Patrick Walker with 